Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for April 2nd of 2023 well, it is titled M57, the Ring Nebula from Hubble. So what do we see here? Well, this is an example of a planetary nebula. And it looks like a big ring in the sky. And of course, we're seeing a two dimensional projection of a three dimensional object. A planetary nebula is the end state of a star much like our own sun. And at the central that star at the center is actually a compact white dwarf star about the size of Earth. And the nebula itself is the outer layers of that star that are being energized by the ultraviolet radiation from that very hot star at the center. The white dwarf star is the leftover core of the star that collapsed down until the atoms were pushed together as close as they could possibly go. And again, that makes the star about the size of Earth. Now, this is an image taken by Hubble. And because of the detail, the astronomers have been able to map this a little bit better in three dimensions. And what we find is that it is almost shaped like an American football. And we are looking down one axis of it. We are looking down the longer axis, which makes it look kind of circular. So if we could see it in three dimensions, it would be an expanding cloud of gas in three dimensions in a flattened elliptical type shape or an ellipsoidal type shape. Now, again, this happens at the end of a star like our sun. When stars end their lives, they can become unstable. The outer layers expand outward and eventually they become uh, detached from the star itself. The core collapses down to the white dwarf and the outer layers expand out into space. Now it's a relatively short phase of life of a star, maybe lasting only a few tens of thousands of years, and it will eventually dissipate out into space, taking that material out to become seed material for new stars. So we only happen to see planetary nebulae when we catch them at that very short phase. However, most stars in the universe will go through this phase at some point in their lives. The only ones that do not are the very massive stars which will actually end their lives as a supernova explosion. Here it's a gentle uh, release of the material the outer layers to slowly expand out into space. Whereas a supernova is a much more violent explosion shoving those that material out into space at a much higher rate. So here we get to see today what what our sun might look like several, many billions of years from now. So that was our picture of the day for April 2nd of 2023. It was titled M57, the Ring Nebula from Hubble. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be the beasts at the center of our galaxy. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then... Have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.